one day we are getting another dog. Um, this will be also my dog. So the two border collies, they're just the family's dog. And Maggie, she's my dog. Um, and so I, I wasn't planning on getting another dog anytime soon. Um, I was, I did want to get another dog in about um, maybe around three three years because by then Ollie would be a bit older and Maggie will need somebody else to play with. Um, so then when I was just looking on Snapchat I saw on somebody's Snapchat story that um, they were selling this three-legged puppy. Um, now it was a and it was from somebody I knew. We went to class together when I went to school um, and you know, her family is a farmer and they bred these um, they, they bred their dog and they had these puppies um, and one of them was born with uh, three legs and no tail so I asked her how much are you selling it for and she said it's free to a good home um, and so I just pretty much begged my parents it only took about one day half a day pretty much to uh, convince my parents to get another dog um, so that will be four dogs um, and yeah so we'll be it's five months old um, and it's a boy and uh, there's not much else to it really um, obviously no farmer really can have a three-legged dog they can't you know they can't do as much um, in herding wise so um, yeah Alright, so it is in the morning. We actually did pick him up. Um, we've had him for a couple minutes, half an hour maybe. Um, and he is settling in really well. Um, I guess I'll just show you him. So this is him. <laughs> Hi. So we've named him Tripod. Um, and his back leg there um, is Gorn. Let's get him to stand up. Come here. But if you can see there, he's got no tail or um, leg. And he gets around perfectly fine, don't ya? Don't ya? He's been running around, uh, getting used to all the other dogs. And he's been doing good. So, and he's got the prettiest eyes, don't ya? Yeah, come on. Come on. Now he's all sandy. Tripod, come. There he goes. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. As you can see, he gets around perfectly fine. And he's still pretty fast for a pup. He's coming. Guess who's here? Hello. Good boy. Anyway, so this is where Ollie sleeps. Susie sleeps in the dirt. She doesn't want to sleep in here for some reason. Um, hello. Hello. Um, so this is where Ollie sleeps. They look in. Got plenty of space in here. But he will be sleeping in our woodshed, won't you, won't you, um, in a dog crate. Um, yeah, um, so he's always uh, slept outside ever since he was a little puppy. Right, so it's the next morning, excuse my crazy hair, but um, I've already done all the chores with uh, this little dude. Likes to lick my fingers. Um, so... I did want to go get him out of his crate, you know, earlier, but, um, I'm, but I'm just, I wanted to let him out at the normal time I would get him out, um, and that's whenever it's light. At the moment it's starting to get light at around seven, uh, maybe ten past seven, so. Here's all our four dogs. So, yeah, he messed the blankets up. He did one pee in there. But you can't really expect him not to. Yeah, so he's been doing pretty good. What's he doing? He likes Ollie's bed because it's larger. Anyway, so he met the sheep. They were at the gate. Um, he would have seen sheep before at his um, first place where he was born. Uh, just because they've got sheep there and he is a working dog. Um, hey, drop that. Drop that. Hey, hey. Alright. Yeah, so we saw 
the sheep. Didn't really do much, like, um, but he did bark a little bit, um, but not much. Um, the chooks he's interested in, but he's not, you know, trying to chase them, which I'm hoping he never does. Um, yeah, so I have tried to, you know, give him a couple treats to see how he is with that. Um, just because if they're really food motivated, it makes it so much easier for me to train them. Yeah, so with the food, he is... Uh, he doesn't really know what to do with it. He, he seems interested in the taste of it, but he just doesn't really know how to swallow it, I guess. Um, so I will be working on that a fair bit. All right, so it has been about four days since we first got tripod. Um, and yeah, he's actually doing pretty good. Uh, he's settled in really well. And today is a really crappy day today, but anyway. Um, he was sleeping outside, but now he is sleeping inside because uh, the past three nights he has howled the whole uh, night and he just doesn't get any sleep during the night. So now he is sleeping in my room in his crate and he sleeps like a charm. Um, and yeah, so he's, he's settled in really well. It takes a while for me to uh, get him to eat his food. I kind of just need to... Um, I just leave his food in his crate and whenever he goes into his crate he can just snack on it because he never actually finishes his food. Um, and he's in the way of the car. Anyway, so yeah, he's doing really well. Um, I've got the training collar on him because he has already found out that chickens are really fun. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to snap him out of chasing chickens really quickly. Uh, which I didn't do with Maggie and um, it's really hard to get her to leave chickens alone. Hello. 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 And he loves to lick. At least he doesn't bite. Um, yeah, so he doesn't like to go through two of the doorways for some reason. I don't know why he's just terrified of going through those two doors. Um, yeah, so I'll give you guys an update once I do a little bit more on training. Because um, I'm just letting him get settled in. Oh, God. Getting a sand in my eyes. Anyway, so I guess I'll see you in a couple days. Okay, so I am out here with Tripod. We have had him for about two weeks now uh, and we've just started to do uh, a little bit leash walking training and um, just coming down that sort of stuff. Um, and he doesn't really respond to positive uh, reinforcement. Um, so if he does like the right thing, then you give him a treat. He doesn't care about that sort of stuff. Uh, what he does care about if he does the wrong thing, uh, if you make something uncomfortable, um, and then he will realize not to do that. So when he pulls on the lead, turn you around. When he pulls on the lead, I have this that goes around his stomach, and when he pulls on the lead, that will tighten up under his stomach. Maggie, come. Legs. There we go. Uh, and that's connected to his collar, so it's pulling on his collar and uh, tightening up under his, his uh, stomach. And. Also when I need him to go down, he doesn't know the word yet, but what I'll do is his shoulder blades there, I'll push on there so it's uncomfortable until he goes down and soon all I have to do is touch it and he'll go down and then he'll learn the words as well. Maggie, come here. So this is Maggie, so if I sit and she'll sit down. Good girl. And uh, I'm mainly just doing down with him instead of sit because sit is a little bit harder for him. Uh, down is a lot easier. Maggie, she's fine to be off lead. She'll come back. Alright, come, tripod. Good boy. And he usually, at first, you might try and catch up to Maggie, but it's pretty good at the moment. This is our second time doing this, and it's it's kind of hard to realise if he's walking or jogging because he's, he just looks like he's hobbling. Um, but I just try and stay the same pace, and if the uh, lead tightens up too much, then I'll uh, pull back. And he has got his training collar on. So I've got his uh, remote here. Um, and whenever he pulls, then I'll uh, vibrate the collar and, and also uh, pull on the lead at the same time. And he will, you know, two uncomfortable things at the same time, he will realize um, not to pull on the lead. All right, so what I'm gonna do is get him to down, down. Down, down, 
pressure on the shoulders until he goes down. Good boy. And then praise him. Good boy. And this method worked for Maggie um, and it's working well for him too. Um, right, tighten this up, bring that forward. And is learning pretty quickly. Down. And Maggie. Legs. Maggie, legs. Wrong way. Maggie, legs. Good girl. And Maggie will go between my legs and he will just go down. Anyway, so we don't really go far. We maybe go 100 meters and then back. Um, and we just do most exercise at home. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed um, this type of video, I don't really do that type of stuff but um, hope you enjoyed and I guess I'll see you all next time.